excited of course to be in the african village and today i'm going to take you to a very beautiful adventure that is cooking one of our most tapo food it's called malakwang and it's a very nice dish so let's go to the malakwang garden to the greens garden and yeah we get it someone is already actually there getting it but they need a winnower this is a winnower for putting it and yeah we are going to paste it with peanut butter with sweet potatoes the best combination you can ever have anyways come let's make it a garden this is how the green looks actually she was already cutting it these greens those who know malakwang mm, it's very beautiful it's unfortunate that i do not know the name in english but let me describe for you the taste of this food probably you know it it's um it has a sour taste sour bitter no not bitter sour it has a sour taste sour but very very nice usually when i eat it with sweet potatoes for me it's the best combination i do not know what what you use to accompany with it let me know if you've ever eaten it before and how it tastes to you so yeah this is what you're going to cook with sweet potatoes today welcome to our lunch let's be here up to the end so that's how they harvested the young no again 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 Growing food around our home states is a must. I always told you guys that. Because the goal is not to go to the market every single day. Mm -mm. You need to be economical. Yeah, so let's get our lunch ready together. So the grandma was already uh, getting the sweet potatoes from the garden, the other side. So we are going to collect it and bring it back home. The gardens are always around home. Home, like it's never far away from home. Not much. Oh yeah. Take a new one
one or just the two of us we would have taken quite a long time but kids are always here to help we do work as a team community work we do work as a team so the work is done actually we are going to go to the next which is peeling the sweet potatoes and we are going to do it as a team again and before you know it our food is ready so fast Yeah, that's it. The knife is blunt. Come and show you how we make our knives sharp. She's also from sharpening hers. Mm. So you get a hard stone like this. Reasons you feed with the animals, pigs, animal men, Young Remove the cover. Yes. All right. Okay. 
We shall be waiting for you. It's not far from here. Not far. Okay. But the time we be in this in this hotel or be back here. Okay. Just go and watch the thing. All right. In the water. Okay. See in a short while. Just try on. Okay. Hello, my guys. So I know me and my grandfather need. That's enough to be close. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. ah. Just need a small image of the world. Yeah. Drama. Okay, that's why it's here. We're gonna have to.
Sweet potatoes get ready on the fire there. Good So you sweat the pepper, and I'm making the peanut butter to mix it. Sorry, Baba. The baby's tired. Guys, it's time to cook the malakwang. The first step, you see, as you're seeing right now, the potatoes is ready. Now we're going to. The malakwan and here is the water so the next is we're going to put the malakwan inside that water cold water by the way use cold water you put your cold water in a clean saucepan then you put your malakwan inside the cold water as you're seeing going down my and here here's the peanut butter before you start cooking your malakwang you should have your peanut butter ready just waiting here looking nice right no going to the well so this is the first step before adding the peanut butter into the greens as i told you earlier on it's a very very sour greens so you have to first sieve off the first water that you use for cooking it because the food can get to be excessively sour so you have to sieve off that water and add a little bit of you know new water before sieving it up just for the bitterness for the sourness to be a little bit more mild right and of course you add in your peanut butter into the food and mix i mean like oh and the peanut butter has to be as much as it possibly can because that food needs enough of it for it to have you know that magical test that everybody talks about anyways after that you have to mix the food using a mingler as rigorously as you can so that the peanut butter can mix inside of the greens perfectly they have to blend if not you have to add the peanut butter until the blend is just perfect and there we go our food is ready 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 and ready to serve you're all welcome for lunch bon appetit Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this was my plate. Very clear. The food.
good was and I finished it. It was very nice. Yeah, that was the food for today. I don't know the name of this thing as well in English. This young girl is organizing it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video up to the end. It was great having you on that channel. And uh, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, kindly do so. Kindly subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notification bell, and become part of the family because it's the best thing that you can ever do for yourself. Thank you so much. Until next time again. Bye.